So this is our soap making, making process. Right now he's weighing out the water and potassium hydroxide mix. And you do this outside with glasses, gloves, and need some eyewear on to measure it out. Then we're gonna come over here to where I have weighed out. And that is for that measurement for those. Um, it was, 104, 104 grams of potassium, 156 grams of distilled water. You need distilled water. Um, and then we have 104 grams of glycerin here. In this pot, we have about five, I believe it's 500 grams of olive oil pure olive oil for Castile liquid soap. And all the tools that you need for Castile liquid soap. I have a few silicone spoons and spatulas to stir. You'll need a stick blender. I have a thermometer to measure. You wanna get your temperature of the olive oil to up to about, about between one, I think it was one fifty to one seventy, not not over that so just in between those and once it heats up then it'll be good to add in your potassium hydroxide but that should heat it up too so if you put it in before it should be fine as well because i've done it before it reached 176 or so let's see if we can get a measurement see how hot this oil is right now Okay, so we're at about 140, which is good. So what I did is pour the olive oil in. I put the crock pot on high setting. And we just wait for this to heat up while we have everything else measured out. Like I said, you need your vegetable glycerin. This is olive oil heating up. He's doing the potassium hydroxide mix. Now, you see when he's doing the mix, we'll zoom in a little bit, but you want to pour the potassium hydroxide in a separate container. You pour it into the water so it does not splash. That's really key. You mix it around and you want to have it in a glass bowl that he has there because it gets really hot. So that's what you want to be careful of. So make sure you use glass utensil, utensils because it does let off fumes and that's something to just be aware of when you are mixing soap. So. Yep. Okay, so we have our potassium hydroxide mix and as you see it is clear but it is very uh hot so be careful we're gonna pour it into our olive oil just like so i'm gonna add in our glycerin right after blender to emulsify it for about 10 minutes you want it to come together to a creamy consistency make sure you keep your stick blender down inside of it and don't you don't want to splash it too much it's going to emulsify to a thicker consistency to a kind of pudding consistency and you see it's kind of like thick like pudding 
so that's a good consistency to get to and as of now you don't need the stick blender anymore at the moment so we're gonna stir this you're gonna cover it and we've reduced the heat to low because we've got up to about 167 it's between 167 and 176 degrees Fahrenheit you want it and then once we come back the this solution should be a little bit more translucent after about 30 minutes and a little thicker and that's when you test it and then we'll do our dilution. That's good. I'm gonna show them again. Like a pudding. Okay, so this is after 30 minutes. We did a clarity test. You can see the water's pretty clear. So you can tell we actually have to do a pH test on it. So we got our clarity test. Okay. Then this is the paste we have. Right. So you see it got a lot thicker. Alright, sounds good. Okay. So this paste has gotten a lot of thick a lot thicker. And then we're gonna add our hundred and seven 1700 grams of water to this soap paste. And we're going to keep it on warm because it's already reached about 100 and so degrees. Well, actually, I'm going to turn it on low so it can be up to the right temperature. Well, all you want to do is allow this thicker solution to dissolve in this a little bit. And once it's halfway dissolved, I'll check in about an hour or so and make sure like all of these bits have dissolved into the water. Um, it might be a soap scum at the top. You'll add a little bit more water to it up to about 20, 2100 grams of water. Um, so maybe just a little bit more water to get a soap scum off and wait till this is all diluted. But in about an hour, I'll check back and see if this mostly dissolved and then I'll use my stick blender to dissolve the rest of it. So we're halfway there. So we got another about hour or two. And like I said, we'll check back in in an hour and see how this solution has dissolved into the water. And that's about it. So this is pretty much our final product. And as you remove some of this at the top, you can see we have a nice Castile soap. So if you wanna make your liquid soap, it's a cool way to make it. And some of the uses that you can use for liquid soap is you can make your own homemade shampoo. This is good for a body wash, very gentle amount for like kids and adults. Um, so if you want to have stuff with limited ingredients in it, that's a good one. Um, we use this for a dishwashing liquid. So instead of buying like harsh detergents and stuff from the store to clean the dishes with, you can use this. You can dilute it and clean your fruit and vegetables off. Um, just a lot of different uses around the house. You can use it as a, a more, because uh, we make a pine salt vinegar. But if you want to add more of a cleaning agent to your cleaners, all-purpose cleaners in your house, you can add a little bit of Castile soap. And again, this is the more concentrated part of it. So this can be diluted with water. If you make hand soap, you can use like a little bit of this and add some water to it to kind of dilute it a little bit. Add your essential oils if you like. But this is pretty much what Castile is. Pure Castile soap is mostly just olive oil not mostly olive oil all of olive oil <laughs> and distilled water so we got soap people all right okay so we got the finished product i strained it off in a glass container it's still cooling but i just want y'all to know how much you may save just from buying and making your own castile so in the store this is a 32, these are quart jars. So we made three quart jars of soap. In the store, a 32 ounce of Castile soap is 
roughly about from 15 to 20 dollars it depends on where you go so they run about 15 something to like 18 something maybe in stores but just one of these which is 32 ounces is from 15 to 20 dollars and all we used today was the potassium hydroxide which i can't tell you the price of that right now you got distilled water that was about a uh, dollar or so um then this is just the stuff you need in it but and then you have what is it the glycerin which runs about 20 or so depending on where you get your glycerin and then the olive oil which is about 20 or so dollars but for that you can make batches of it at a time because for these three batches we only needed about maybe two and a half cups of olive oil um in total you'll probably need maybe a gallon of the distilled water and of the potassium hydroxide i think when Kadeem mixed it it's about a cup or two of it and then the rest is water and then of course the glycerin maybe about a cup of glycerin so you don't even need like a full we have a gallon size glycerin but you don't even really need that but this product you'll have at the end which is like i said a concentrate if you want to use it as a concentrate you can you don't need a lot of it when you do use it and it does have a good suds to it so there's our finished product